The United States is a country of infrastructure projects. The nation's infrastructure is constantly changing, from highways and railroads to airports and seaports. Yet, there are still billions of dollars worth of projects waiting to be built across America or under construction, from megaspheres the size of a stadium to high-speed railways. In this video, we will look at some of America's upcoming mega-projects that could change how people live in America for years to come. Stay with us to the end to find out about the projects that received American government approval. Welcome back to our channel, Build to Innovate, where we provide you with facts related to mega projects worldwide. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our updates. Number 1. MGM Sphere the Sphere is being built in Las Vegas, and it's said to be the most anticipated in Las Vegas for the year 2023. The $1.8 billion project is expected to be completed by 2023, and includes a casino, hotel, and retail space. The Sphere's design is simply mind-boggling, and the venue is enormous, with space for up to 19,000 spectators, which is 7,000 more than the capacity of the Dean Court Stadium. The construction company building this megaproject is MGM Resorts International. According to them, the sphere will feature an observation wheel that rises more than 300 feet above Las Vegas Boulevard on the site of what was formerly known as Planet Hollywood. To construct the sphere, the DMAG CC8800, the world's fourth largest crawler crane, was used. It took 18 days to assemble the crane. The Sphere is an engineering marvel. Despite the problems with construction, such as contractor drama, and funding, it is sure to be a popular attraction when it opens. Number 2. Project Connect Texas Project Connect Texas is a multi-billion public transportation project connecting the state's major cities and improving mobility across its regions. It is one of Austin's multi-project transit strategies which aims to reduce road congestion by expanding rail service, adding bus routes, and extending commuter rail lines. According to Capital Metro, Connect will be the largest public transportation project in Texas history and will bring improvements to over 6,500 miles of roadway across 1 million Texans. They currently rely on cars or buses for their daily commute. The project will be completed in phases over the next 15 years, with the first phase beginning construction in 2020. The plan includes the following. Building new rail lines. Extending existing commuter rail lines. Adding bus rapid transit routes. Improving existing bus service. The rail lines include light rail lines. The blue line will be an essential transportation link for the state capitol building and the University of Texas in Austin. With its intricate design, the orange line's path through the city center will be shared with the blue line, while the green line will connect with the red line before splitting off to the east at the station serving downtown and Plaza Saltillo. The proposed Project Connect transportation tunnel would run for 1.6 miles (2.6 kilometers) below downtown and connect the orange, blue, and eventually gold light rail lines. Capital Metro's Project Connect plan also includes introducing an electric bus system. The initiative has been carefully thought out, since it will also work to preserve the already existing trees and plant new ones if possible. Government funding on both the state and federal levels, along with a municipal property tax increase of $8.75 per $1,000 of assessed value, will cover the cost of this megaproject. Although this hiked tax brought about many criticisms, it is obvious that the current government is trying its best, as the project's cost was initially close to $10 billion. Number 3. The Howe International Bridge The Howe International Bridge is a cable-stayed bridge that will be the longest in North America, which began construction in 2018. The mega-project will connect Windsor, Ontario, with Detroit, Michigan, across the Detroit River. The bridge will serve as part of Ontario Highway 401 and connect Windsor with cargo trains that travel between Canada and the United States via rail lines owned by CN Rail. The project was initially proposed in 2004 
but was met with several oppositions until the last quarter of 2018. In case you're wondering why the name sounds familiar, especially if you are a hockey fan, this project was named after the famous hockey player Gordy Howe, who passed away just a few years before the construction began. The estimated overall cost is around 5.7 billion US dollars, with funding coming from both Canadian and US governments and private investors like pension funds or sovereign wealth funds. Number 4. The 30-meter telescope The 30-meter telescope, or TMT, is a next-generation optical infrared extremely large telescope built to learn more about the Big Bang, the mechanics of the early cosmos, and dark matter. The instrument's most eye-catching feature is its enormous primary mirror spanning up to 30 meters in diameter. It comprises 492 individual hexagonal mirrors. The consortium behind the funding for the TMT telescope includes research institutions from the United States, Canada, China, Japan, and India. The plan to construct what would be one of the world's largest optical telescopes on Mauna Kea has been met with opposition by native Hawaiians for a long time. They argue that the $2.65 billion project will further pollute their sacred land that has already been damaged by a dozen other observatories. There have been no announcements or beginnings of the project this year because of the protests. However, production of the telescope components, including mirrors and castings for mirrors, continues. The University of Hawaii stands to gain financially and operationally from TMT. But should this outweigh the mountain's religious, cultural, and ecological significance? Number 5. California High-Speed Rail California's high-speed rail project is a proposed rail system connecting Los Angeles and San Francisco. The project aims to offer a non-stop trip in 2 hours and 40 minutes 380 miles, between Union Station and San Francisco. 610 kilometers. The project has been estimated to cost $60 billion, making it one of the largest infrastructure projects in the US. The project's first phase will include a line connecting Fresno with Bakersfield and Merced before reaching Los Angeles in 2029. In addition to reducing travel time between these two cities from 5 hours to 2 hours, California High Speed Rail plans to build a second phase connecting San Jose with Merced and Bakersfield by 2033. The project is being constructed by a private company called the High Speed Rail Authority. According to the authority's current projections, shown in Exhibit 3.3 of the 2022 Business Plan, $23.4 billion in identified funds will be available from 2022 to 2030. Joe Biden's $1.2 trillion infrastructure plan signed into law in November 2021, has spawned more than 4,000 active construction projects. Even though the California High-Speed Rail route was one of the few projects to receive the highest allocation, it is still one of several megaprojects facing finance restrictions. Cost estimates for this railway have increased to as much as $105 billion, and out of the $1.2 trillion plan, only $100 billion has been awarded. Do tell us your views in the comments section down below. If you've reached this far, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.